send them off to the Tavistock knowing that they're going to be mutilated, that their bodies are going to be damaged. And I don't forgive them, I'm afraid. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care if they lose their jobs. I, I, I know I said last September that people should be braver and what cost is it to you? Well, what cost is it to all of us when you don't speak up, when you do stay, stay silent? What cost is it to those children when that GP is more concerned about their pension than they are that child's body? That that child's body, not just for the next three months, the next four months, the next two years, but the rest of their lives, until maybe they find their body so unbearable that they take their own lives. And I'm not talking about those that don't transition. I'm talking about those that do. Because the ultimate harm that we do to ourselves has got to be more profoundly difficult to take than the harm that other people do to us. My next word is purity. It's something that I refuse to do. I'm not going to be pure to any side or any group or any ideology. I think that's why we're here, that's why society has gone where it is, because everybody is too worried about being pure and about being belonging and about being uh, congratulated for how wonderfully compassionate they are. And it's all a facade. So I will not do political purity. I will work with anybody who can help stop this madness. There are caveats. <laughs> Despite the fact that I've been linked to Tommy Robinson more times than I can remember, I think he really would be my line. <laughs> <laughs> the next word is placate. Now this is something we have been doing to men in this movement. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm married to a man, I have three sons, I quite like men. Uh, but they are not there to speak for women, they are there to speak for themselves. I'm quite happy for men to take a microphone, take a stand, and take a platform, but they must do it on their own behalf. I don't need men to speak for me, I don't, it doesn't matter how they identify, I don't need a man to articulate what I stand to lose. And I don't even think these men are allies in the fight. I think this is their fight. You know, this is, this is do, you, do you want our society to change um, irreparably, or do you not? And that is not something just for the preserve of women, or mothers, or uncles, or aunties, or whoever. It's for all of us. We all are invested in this society not to change. It, I mean, it doesn't work fabulously well for all of us. Uh, but I, I just don't, I don't want to see a man penning articles talking about how wonderful he is to women and how wonderfully he cares about us. I want him just to say it's insane because it's insane. So that's, and the placating thing is, is also the language. So let me be clear. Men, are men, are men. Amen. <laughs> I probably need to say more of a West Country R instead of the R saying Amen. Um, but we don't need any other language to describe those people. We know who they are. They're men. That's a man, not male bodied. Nobody wins the female 100 metres at the Olympics. We win the women's sprint. Clearly not myself. But we don't need to confuse ourselves with these languages. This is why we are where we are. Because all too often we've said male-bodied or female. When did we need a caveat? I don't need to describe a woman by saying she's got a female body. Clearly she's got a female body because she's a woman. So we need to stop. Whatever, whatever it is you're doing, for whatever reason, either be brave in your words or don't speak, frankly. You have to, you have to just stop it. Just stop saying male-bodied. Stop saying female when you mean woman. Stop saying male-bodied when you mean man. And let's just stick to those words that have been quite useful for the whole time that we've managed to have language and utter in ways that people understand what we're talking about. My next word is progress. Not to be confused with progressive. <laughs> <laughs> so progress is the development towards an improved or more advanced condition. Uh, 
And we have made some progress. I mean, I've, we've got groups all over the place. I can see somebody's wearing a hand off my right t shirt this evening. Um, Nicola Williams led a really fantastic campaign to get people to sign to the uh, gender recognition uh, consultation. We've got Women's Place, who, whilst I have many grievances with the way they operate, they have done some fantastic work. Uh, and I think that every, this movement here this evening, and Little Pockets of Resistance, there's lots of people beginning to stand up and galvanise. Um, it would be quite useful if we all keep raising each other's voices, I know I sound like that weird thing they did with Obama where a woman spoke and another woman elevated her by repeating what she said, but I, I do think that's quite a useful thing to do. So whilst the progress is there, there's still just a massive backlash. Um, we still hear people talking bravely about parents. And you need to tell everyone, I tell every cab, I bore people to death. <laughs> Um, with my stories about did you know, and I wear my, I've got my little pin on this evening and people ask me about my t-shirts and, and that's all I wear really normally, it's my woman t-shirt. So have conversations everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. And when people look at you like you've just said something terrifyingly offensive, you have to just ride it out as if you have no idea why they're using that expression to respond to what you've said. So you have to kind of fake it till you make it. So when you say, oh, yeah, you know, women, adult, human, female, and they look like you've just said, later on tonight, I'm just going to pop around and murder your children. <laughs> um, you have to pretend that you have no idea why they responded like that. We have to make it like they're the fools, not that we've been offensive. But those people that we're talking to are offensive for not understanding our basic position that women are adult human females and children's bodies are not to be messed with. Thank you. 